Hello producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can generate your own kick drums and all of the techniques that I'm gonna show you today is going to be totally free already inside of the FL Studio. And I'm pretty sure that you haven't heard of the several techniques that, that we are gonna cover in today's video. And if you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. Okay, we are starting with the first plugin, which is the bass drum. This bass drum plugin is in the FL Studio for many, many versions. It's pretty old plugin, but still in 2023, this plugin just doing its job very well. So if you cannot find the plugin, just right click, insert in the more plugins, just search the bass drum name, you will find the plugin because the plugin doesn't show off in the, you know, favorite plugin list. So it's kind of hidden itself, but, but yeah, now I'm going to show you how to use the plugin. We are going to write the MIDI just like that, four on the floor, just a kick. And when I play it, okay, now I brought the LFO to so we can monitor the waveforms. So when you click this button, you can see like 52 different kick presets and you can just customize and program all of the kick drums and just make it fit to your track. So let's just take a look of the presets now. As you see, every preset has its own character and new kick drum every time I click next. But let's say we like this kick drum and we want to customize this one. So if you like to customize it in the main top, you will see the main kick sound. And if you change the bass frequency in here, which means the, the very, you know, the key of the kick is going to change. So how to determine the key? Let's say I have a loop in here, um, which is just made in note of E. Let's take a look of the loop now. <laughs> very basic loop and the synths are playing the E note. Now I'm gonna check the E note. You can just check it from online as well. I'm gonna just check it from Fab Filter Pro Q3. So it says 41 Hertz is the note of E. I'm gonna go to bass drum and I'm gonna start in 41. If you like to make your kick in key, this is the way. And when you go to the peak, this determines like the punch of the kick. So the punch is actually is something like that. Just think as a sound and the sound is going high pitch to low pitch very fast and that creates the punch effect of the kick. And yeah, you can just adjust the punch how you like it in the peak knob in here. And the slide is going to determine the punch curve. So something like that. If you go to the slave, you will find another, you know, base peak and the phase. There are several parameters. The slave section is actually another kick that is generated by the bass drum VST. And they are just merging two different samples. Even now, if you don't like the waveform, if you think the parameters that you put in the main section, just phasing or, you know, having some problems with the slave layer, and you can always change it and fit to your kick. Another than that, we have the click part. So this click part is self-explanatory. It's just adjusting the first transient of the kick. You can even just work on the frequency, how bassy or high frequency you want the click to be. And there is one more thing that you should, you know, check it out. It's, it's in the middle of section of the plugin. This middle section has the ADSR settings, attack, decay, sustain, that kind of stuff. And other than that, as you see, there is some preload samples inside of it. This is another layer and in the mix knob, you determine how much this middle layer you want to, you know, blend with your kick that you created. So if I make the mix zero, the middle section is not gonna work. 
So now you can just blend these signals. And with this, you can add some texture. Yeah, I, I'm kind of making the things randomly. You should make sure to give it enough time so, so it doesn't sound this much random. But yeah, you got the point. And in the master section, you can add drive to your kick. You can adjust the EQ, like how subby you like the kick or maybe, you know, less subby. And also you can determine the attack in here. So this sampling ratio is kind of changing the sampling ratio of the kick. I don't like to touch it. It's just ruining everything. I don't like to use this one. Um, other than it, the last thing we didn't cover is the duration. And it's self-explanatory again. It's just adjusting how long you like the kick to be. Like even if you put it too much, you can just generate the rumble by itself. And after you're satisfied with the kick, you can just go to its EQ and you can always adjust it. Maybe you want less low mids. So this kick is already pretty decent. If I don't use it as a main kick, I can always use this one as a texture, as a mid layer, as another layer to my kick drum. So I think this bass drum VST is really good. If you adjust the parameters, giving it more time and you know, be careful on it, you can achieve so much cool kick sounds. And with a really decent of texture library you have in here. And yeah, other than that, you have tons of different bass drums that is pre-made in the presets. You can just choose the preset that you like and you can just start customizing it. You know, changing the bass and fit exactly to your tracks key. And yeah, I start to use this plugin a lot recently. Okay, that was the first plugin that I like to show you. So let's go to the next plugin. The next plugin is really old FL Studio stock kick uh, maker, kick synth. So I'm just gonna place the MIDI like that. And probably in here, we need to make sure the key. Every note is gonna give you different key. So if I make it like that. So let's say we wanna make it E. So it's probably not that much complicated plugin. All you gotta do is again, check this one with LFO tool. So you see the waveform. You can think like that. This one is pretty much the 909 kicks that you can find, but it's still probably maybe if I make some melodic techno or some style like that, like old school music maybe, I will definitely use this plugin. So the first three bands is determining the punch of the kick as we speak in the previous plugin. This first knob is saying like how high the punch starts and the minimum frequency is how long should it go. And it's gonna change the full punch of the kick. And in the decay, you can determine the length of the punch. And the amp decay, just determining how long or short do you want the kick. The click is already explaining itself. And the distortion knob, just adding some drive to the kick. So I don't like to spend more time on this plugin because it's pretty much basic and you probably won't even gonna use it. So let's go to the next plugin. 
which is the kick machine. D did you heard this plugin? Just let me know in the comment section. To load this plugin, all you gotta do is go to the channel rack, not in the, you know, mixer inserts. You just need to go to the channel rack and insert a patcher in here. And in the patcher, you will see like tons of synth presets that made by patcher. Maybe I can make more videos with the other plugins because there are so cool hidden jumps in the patcher synth section. And today we are gonna talk about the kick machine. So what is the kick machine? Again, let's copy paste just, uh, you know, one hit MIDI notes. For the kick machine, you can think like that. There are three different layers in the kick machine VST and there's one global seed. So I'm just gonna make them kind of randomized now. Every time you change a parameter, you will get a new kick drum. It's kind of perfect, right? Let's take a look how it works. So these settings give us this kind of kick. Let's change just one layer. We got totally different new kick. This plugin is, you gotta be really lucky to get the perfect kick, but like, it's so fun to play, you know, there are four numbers and you can just, you know, make some random number, put some random number and you get a new kick every time. And probably it's impossible to, you know, check all the kick, all the variations in this plugin. For example, this combination, this sound that we achieve, it's perfect for, you know, layering some mid kick, like a texture kick from a techno kick. Or let's change the global seat. We got something fresh, something different. Every time you, every time you roll, you will get something new. And also you can adjust all the different bands individually. And also the A, B and A plus B, that parameters also changing the relationship between the layers, between the seats. Again, you will get some different outcome when you just work with them. I'm not sure how they work, but it changes the sound. And I think this shift knob is just adjusting the pitch of the kick. So you can fine tune the kick with this shift knob and the pre-comp knob is just determining the volume. Yeah, as I said, this plugin is so fun to work, but you gotta be really lucky to get the perfect kick. But I'm sure there's so much cooler kicks, but yeah, just there are so much combinations, so it probably requires more time. So just make sure to, you know, have fun with it. And lastly, for FL Studio, we will check the flex. I already made some kick layering tutorial with the flex. That's why I'm not gonna, you know, work that hard on this plugin. All I want to show you is just go to the free and download everything that you can and then go to the uh, all section and in the tech just write kick. So you got the kick packs now and if you like just go one of the packs and when you go to its piano roll like for this algo kick packs you got like 120 different kick samples. And again, all of the samples, in, especially in the flex, like all of the samples are so quality. And, and the good thing with it, you can always customize your kick from the macros. Like you can add, add distortion. There 
are so much possibilities that you can make. And other than that, like you can adjust the ADSR settings, you can work on the limiting the delay reverb. And don't forget, those are just the dry kicks that we are generating. We can always put distortion, EQ, whatever we like in the mixer. So we can always process and customize the kick sample. And other than that, don't forget to check all the packs in the flex. Like there are so many variations. For example, in this blazing algo kicks, it, you got like 240 different kicks. Or if you go maybe the, to the kick drum, now you can see like one kick drum with different uh, keys, just like the, you know the previous plugins. Or let's go to the kick factory pack. Just you can write the note that you like, and then you can just adjust how you like. This kick drum and kick factory, like these packs are got give you more macros to customize your kick. But the other ones, these uh, pre-made samples are kind of, you know, just adding some effects to the pre-made kick. So those kicks are sounding more quality, but you got less customization options. But in the kick drum, kick factory, ultimate kick, kick layer, those are the ones, not the kick layer. Those three are the ones is gonna give you give you tons of customization. And yeah guys, those are the four different techniques that you can generate your kick drums for totally free and totally in the box in the FL Studio. As far as I know, all of the four plugins are included all the versions of FL Studio. Even like if you have the using the free version, you can generate your kick drum, just you know, render it probably and or record it. And you can make your own kick library with just spending this, this one a little bit time and generates kick drums just fitting perfectly to your trick. So today that was it guys. I hope you can apply these tricks to your own productions as well. See you on the next video. Bye bye.